Support for Radio Friends comes from LaBrunere Financial, where they work to ensure a lifetime of financial security for people from all walks of life, from investment services to retirement plans. If you're looking for a trustworthy company that has the experience and knowledge to put your interests first, contact LaBrunere Financial, a community-based investment counseling firm since 1966. And welcome to Radio Friends on this Monday, September the 21st. It's a pleasure to be with you today. Uh, we're in a, a brand new studio, actually a temporary studio, for a, a couple of weeks while they're renovating downstairs. But I want to introduce you right now to a lady who came in from Columbia, just down the block a little bit. Okay. Valerie, Valerie Livingston from the Boys and Girls Club. Good to have you here, Valerie. Good morning. Thanks for having me. How are things going? Um, well, I'm going to say they're going better. You know, the last time I was here, we were talking about some um, grant losses and some revenue losses, yeah. and we're still living in, in the COVID world, um, but we're moving forward. Um, so last time you were here, as you said, we did talk about the loss of the grant. Yes. How are you coping with that when you've got so many kids that you yeah. have to care for? Yeah, how, how do we do more with less? And and that's that's the world we live in right now, so we're doing the best we can. Uh, the community has been wonderful in rallying behind and supporting the Boys and Girls Club. In fact, we have extended our services instead of offering an after-school program. We are now offering a virtual day pod learning center. And what is that? Um, it is a place where you can enroll your child um, to come to the Boys and Girls Club from 7.30 to 5.30. And we are creating a learning environment center for kids that we can support their process of logging on to the Columbia Public School District virtual learning platform and completing their learning like as if they were in school. So what you're saying is the kids are coming to the Boys and Girls Club. So yes. they're actually they're 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 going into the building but they are physically distance, correct? Yes, yes. We have all of our COVID safety operating procedures in place, wearing masks, taking temperatures, um, social distancing, but we're providing the staffing to support these kids because it's it's very difficult for elementary kids to understand how to get on their iPad and how to get into their Zoom classrooms and how to communicate with their teachers and complete their activities and assignments. So parents need help. Parents need support and, and, and help with they're trying to work or they're trying to work from home. And for an elder, elementary age child, um, they need constant support uh, to, to stay focused and keep their attention on their iPad. So what kind of feedback have you had from the kids and what kind of feedback from the parents? Well, uh, we opened up this week and the kids were so excited because they haven't seen their friends. They right. haven't been in a class setting for six months. Um, so attention was a little challenging to get them to sit in their seat and right. pay attention to their iPad. How, how are you keeping the kids apart? Because they're, they're kids. Yes. And they want to play and they want to uh, go up to their friends and hug them. How do you keep them yep. apart? Well, we, we have the chairs marked, the tables marked, the floor marked, everything to give them visual cues to social distance and then just a lot of verbal reminders because kids are kids and they want to run and play and have fun and give hugs and do kids stuff. So it, it is it is kind of hard to, to yeah. explain to kids how to social distance. What are some of the other things we need to know about the the club? Well, um, we are needing some financial support. Um, we just extended to a 10 day, a 10 hour per day um, program, and we've lost our grant funding to be able to support um, some of the programs that we provide. So we really need financial support. So it is costing us $30 a day to be able to provide 10 hours worth of programming for one child. So we're hoping so to each, raise. So each child is costing $30 a day? Yes. So that's $150 a week. Correct. For each kid. For each kid. And we're, we would like to serve 100 kids. So our goal is to raise a minimum of $30,000 a month because families are used to sending their kids to school for free. Right. They don't have money budgeted uh, to be able to pay for a daycare program or, or a day pod learning center program. Their kids should be in school, which is free. So this is an additional cost for families and a hardship. So we want to raise those funds to help support these families to still have an affordable option to send their kid a place so that they can continue with their academic learning and be successful, but also go back to work. Now, some of these families really can't afford it. Right. 
Right. So what, what happens if the family can't afford to pay it? Well, that's why I'm here today is because uh, as a nonprofit, we are trying to write grants and fundraise in our community and ask for support. And you can go to our webpage um, to make a donation and, and support the Day Pod Learning Center. But, you know, this we think that the school is going to be out for a while. We don't know how long, but we need to be able to offer this at least through the end of the year, if not the whole school year. That's a lot of money. It, it adds up fast. <laughs> okay. So what happens, and, and I don't want to be negative on this, but what happens if you don't receive enough funds to keep this going? Well, ultimately, we have to make some really difficult decisions because as a nonprofit, we have to raise every dollar that we intend to spend. And we've lost some grant funding. And so we're really, our backs are up against the wall um, to raise money. And we had to cancel our in-person fall fundraiser event, which again is another need um, that we just need to ask the community to please rally behind your nonprofits in Columbia because we need more support because we're trying to do more with less right now. Are you getting assistance from the United Way? Yes, we are a United Way funded agency. We also get uh, the Children's Services funding, which is the, the mental health uh, program and funding for, for families. And then we're writing other uh, state, local, and federal grants as well. You know, I'm just, I'm trying to get a grasp of this. Now, you are one of many uh, charitable organizations in central Missouri who do so much good for our community. And each and every one of these organizations are in a bind right yes. now. They're in a bind right now, and they need our support to the best. Now, some people can can give more than others, but what you're asking, if you can af afford to give just a little bit. Every dollar if counts. If everybody gives just a little bit, it does make a difference. It makes a huge difference. So uh, if our listeners or viewers want to help out, what's the best way to do that? It would be to go to our website, um, and you can learn more about the programs that we're offering right now to kids. You can learn more about the day program, and you can make a donation directly to support any of those programs and, and the day program included. Now, besides a donation, are you... Uh looking for people to help out donating their time? Um, right now, we're not accepting volunteers because no. we're reducing okay. risk and minimizing the number of people that come and go from the facility. But we are accepting other um, academic supply donations, anything that a child would need, a school supply need, um, we need now at the Boys and Girls Club in order to support their learning process. Okay, and that web address is? bgc-columbia.org. And you can make a secure donation online yes it's b g c dash columbia dot org b g c dash columbia dot org you can make a uh, a very secure donation online uh give us some serious consideration okay valerie thank you so much for coming by and please visit us again hopefully you'll have some really positive dunes the next yes. time you're with it yes okay all right we're out of time for today uh, tomorrow we'll be back with our friend joe dillard oh he's a miracle man something you'd like to hear or see drop me an email pepper p at missouri.edu thank you so much for watching today and wear that mask bye-bye